This short video is about the current organizational structure for the automotive workshop compared to another. I believe the current structure is functional structure which has one boss at the top and in this case is Hamish and then general managers for each area. This is a flat structure that remains lever, less levels of command making it easier for communication to take place. Also the group under the general managers are put together as they have the same skills. There is a short chain of command to get information to the top. There is also the, a unit, unity of command as employees and students report directly to one manager who reports to the managing director at the top. As the structure is flat, this means that the authority is strong, meaning that the managing director wants something done that is in a large line of command for him to make, for him to go, for him to go through. Matrix structure is a tall structure, meaning many levels, making it harder for to get information to the top it's often called matrix organization. There is a CEO at the top of the general and then general managers, then there is also project managers that cross the general managers areas. Many lower levels of authority and unity of command making it hard to know who go who to go to and the authority can clash. The chain of command is strong because it has because of the project managers being in place. This means that the project manager gen and general managers to put in place a new innovation or report back, making it easier for information to go from top to bottom of the organisation. Advantages and disadvantages, effectiveness, use of resource, task assignment consists with training, problem solving, clear paths. Disadvantages, lack of communication through departments, bad problem solving between departments. The advantages and disadvantages of the matrix structure combines functional and dis divisional, better problem solving, better custom service, improved decision making, improved management. Disadvantages, two bosses could cause a divide if they don't see eye to eye and staff and students may not know who to see about problems. Functional structure is better for little businesses like the automotive workshop. Is a the structure works better for small organisations that produce only one or few products or services, whereas matrix structure can be used many different types of organisation like manufacturing, service industry, professional fields and not-for-profit organisations, meaning it has a wide range of uses. In the functional structure, the chain and unity of command is short and easy. There is no confusion to students and staff reporting to the general managers and general managers report to the managing director. Whereas in the matrix structure, it's a little more complicated and there is a project manager and general managers and they can cut past, making the unity of command harder as staff and students don't know if they should report to the project or general managers. Also, the chain of command is more complicated as the project managers and general managers are working together, but if these two don't see eye to eye, the whole area will fall apart. In functional structure, there is a lack of communication through departments because they do not, they don't come into contact really. Everything is kept separate. But in the matrix structure, due to there being project managers, they go all, they go across all departments, so they are communicating through the departments, making for better communication. And this has been my presentation on organising structure.